Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel, on the Poor Man's Gold channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a little in-hand review on the Pineapple brand uh, coin loop. It's a 30 times uh, coin loop, jewelry loop, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's a loop, and let's face it, my eyes ain't what they used to be, and uh, sometimes I need some help. So... I picked up this um, loop as part of that goddamn eBay gift card uh, debacle from last a couple of weeks ago. But um, I did get the tubes, those Whitman tubes, and this pineapple loop with that uh, $20 gift card from eBay. So here we go. Um, yeah, so I, I figured I should get a loop because... Um, I have, you know, a lot of coins, a lot of, you know, I have a, a, over a full roll of Wheaties here. I got some other, you know, other stuff here. Just things you want to get a closer look at, man. You want to get a look at that data, mint mark. I've been finding myself looking for double dies on the pennies and stuff. So, um, so bottom line is I needed a loop or I wanted a loop um, just because, you know, so I, I want to get a better look at the coins. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to, I want to be able to see, you know, every little detail on them. You know what I mean? So, uh, pineapple branded, um, coin loop, 30 times, uh, coin loop with a light. It has like a little LED light. Pull it out of that little pouch. Pop it open. Comes in this little carrying case here. And it does come with a little key for the uh, battery compartment, which is very good because you need that key if you want to change the battery at any point. So I'll put that over there. I have used this thing, but I rewrapped it up for video purposes. And um, it's like a nice stainless steel almost. It's uh, pretty, pretty heavy, seems pretty heavy and sturdy. Um, it's like a stainless steel, it looks like, but it could be, could be anything. Who knows? Plated, plastic, who, who knows? So you open her up. It does have two little LED lights here on an on-off switch. Whoa, blinded by the light. And it is a 30 times magnification, um, uh, loop here. Illuminated loop, LED, 30 times by... 21 millimeters, so you got a 21 millimeter um, glass here, that would probably mean. Um, and here's the battery compartment here that that little key will slip into. And there is, uh, I don't know, some little instructions in that pouch. But um, the loop itself is really cool, and it's coming in handy, especially with the little light for me, because, you know, um, it lights up and magnifies you know, what you're looking at. You do have to get pretty close to the coin for it to work. I don't know if it would actually work um, on camera. Hey, man, I'm going to try it, though. Here, we got a nice, nice, nice red penny here. You do got to get pretty close to it, but as you can see, maybe not... Plus, I'm doing this behind the camera like a friggin' retard. There you go, 58D. Check that out. Pretty decent detail, and this is um, pretty shiny. It's a pretty red uh, penny. So, 58D there. See, and th these are things I couldn't see without this thing. So, um, definitely coming in handy already. And um, I feel like I'm going to be putting this to a lot of use at some point, you know, just in general, you know what I mean? Because I have a lot of cool little, you know, cool little things. I don't know what the hell this is, you know what I mean? So I can get a better look at it. And it looks like a Canadian, a 63 Canadian penny, it looks like. So, you know, that's pretty cool. You want to get a better look at it. Check this Tones Dime out, man. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can't pick up on uh, on camera on that, but it's like a pink toned man. It's like toned pink on both sides, and it's really friggin' nice. I can't tell what year it is offhand, but that's why I need the loop. And I got a little cool little tokens. You know what I mean? This is like a this is a token from the uh, Roger Williams Mint in Attleboro, Massachusetts, Walton Street. 
with a phone number. It must have been some kind of little, like, uh, business card type thing for their mint. You know what I mean? They'd pass these out, sort of like business cards. I don't know. I don't know the history on this thing or the Rogers Williams mint, but whatever. And I got a cool little uh, V-nickel here, 1906 uh, V-nickel with sense. Hey, want to get a better look at it, you know what I mean? Um, this little quarter, dime, nickel, and penny uh, set from, I don't know when the hell it's from. I don't know what goddamn year this is from, but the bottom line is, it looks like 1999. It's a set of um, golden, uh, must have been some kind of set of the golden quarter, dime, nickel, and penny. And I got this cool little cross penny. Somebody punched a hole, punched a cross in this penny. I think I got this on eBay like friggin' 10 years ago or however many years ago, but I thought it was pretty cool. And, um, you know, and all the pennies here, just things you want to see, you know, check this out. I think this, I think I put a quarter on the uh, railroad track one time and let a train run over it. I'm pretty sure this was a quarter, but I mean, it's got to be friggin' and the last time I put a quarter on the tracks or any, any coins on the tracks it had to be 25 years ago, minimum at least. So, uh, yeah, train flattened that out pretty good. I don't really need to see that with the loop, though. You know, some Indian nickels. Check this proof dime, man. It's definitely a proofer. So anyway, bottom line on the video is the pineapple branded um, coin loop here 30 times by 21 millimeter. Um, and it's pretty cool and it's been doing me, it's been doing me right, um, for the past week or so since, since I've had it and, um, I'm digging it. I like this loop. Um, it's the first loop I ever owned or used, so I can't really compare it to any other loops, you know what I mean? But, um, first impression on it is, um, it's pretty cool and it's working, it's working out pretty good for me. I like that it lights up. And I guess that's the bottom line on this video, man. Uh, I did get it off eBay. I'm sure you can get these um, loops, you know, pretty much anywhere, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, uh, from, a, from a layman's turn, you know, from a, a, taking a layman's view of this loop, I'm saying it's pretty cool and it, it's working out pretty good for me. So, I mean, you know, you, know, you do you, uh, everything's, everybody's different, you know what I mean? But all I'm saying is, it's a pretty cool loop, and I'm digging it, and I'm looking forward to, you know, really getting a good look at a lot of these little coins I got and stuff, you know what I mean? So, we'll call it a wrap on this video, guys. I don't want to keep you all friggin' night eight minutes already with me yapping. So, uh, we'll call it a wrap, and uh, thanks for watching. Keep out of trouble, stay safe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.